Hey, I'm Raja Kumari, and today I'm home, and I'd like to show you some of my favorite temples in India. So I'm gonna use Google Arts and Culture today to look at some classical Hindu temples, north and south. A lot of um, these temples were unseen for a long time. They're really hard to get to, so the idea that we can kind of check them out from here is really exciting. Uh, I want to go to a temple that I remember visiting as a child. It's called Mahabalipuram. And uh, the thing that I remember about this place the most is how huge the sculptures of the giant cows and elephants were. Whoa, look at these pictures. I always love photos of, um, of temples because it's like everything changes around it but the temple. Whoa. The Pallavas, so it was built by the Pallavas. That's true, I remember this. I don't remember this though, that's amazing. Whoa, look at the colors. There's always like lotuses, but see, the style is very South India. In the South, it's like very ornate. So let's see, I wanna check out, this is really cool. So these museum views, wow. See, this is what I was talking about, those elephants. Whoa. So these are all telling stories, like this is Hanuman, it looks like. This is Vishnu. This is definitely a story of Vishnu. There's many sages involved. Whoa, they lost their heads. These guys lost their heads. This is obviously all out of the cliff which is like incredible. We don't even do stuff like this anymore. Look at the baby elephants. They're so small and perfect. Wow. Look at that. I have to show this to my mom. Okay, let's see what else is out here. Are those real monkeys or? Uh, I don't know. Maybe they're, maybe they're, they're monkeys made us dumb. Let's see, how do I get out of here? Okay, so let's see, north. What kind of temples are in the north? Uh, there's a really crazy one. I wonder if I can spell it. Oh, wonderful. Okay, great. Okay, so this temple, um, Brihadiswaralaya. I remember trying to learn to say that like a hundred million times. So the crazy thing about this temple, okay, so let's pull it up like this. Wow. Is it's huge. You can't tell, right? Let me see if we can get in so you can see perspective. Everything is over the top size. Like when you get inside the inner sanctum, I wonder over here where the people are. It's probably where the entrance is, yeah. But they're exiting. I remember this. Wow, you can't forget a place once you've been there like this. Oh, I wanna get around the front. Um, so it was built by um, Raja Raja. Since its opening, for 1,000 years, it's been open every day. Like they have been running this temple for a thousand years. There, there's the Nandi, here it is. Yes, I'm getting closer. So any Shiva temple will have a Nandi, which is like a bull. Um, and he's, he's, he's the God, he's attached to Shiva. So, you know, he's usually in all the temples and this one is huge. Ah, can we get closer? Oh, this is, okay, 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 I figured it out. See it, how big it is? It's giant. See the people in comparison? It's a huge Nandi. It's like one of the only places in India with one this big. But the fact that it's just been running, it's it's such a part of history and it's such a part of like history that continues. And it's it's not like ancient history is forgotten and, and somewhere tucked away in a in a museum. It's living. It's like living history. So if you have a chance to visit this place. I suggest it. I really hope you enjoy checking out some of my favorite places in India. I hope this inspires you to use Google Arts and Culture and check out some places that you're inspired to visit one day.